Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or health care provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare and will be terminated from the program immediately. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich at the expense <laughs> of vulnerable patients, in this case, very vulnerable. We will also investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination. Wow. That don't sound bad. I don't Jimmy. think any of that sounds, sounds great. Bad. But that sounds like common sense. Oh, oh, I think he's just trying to I stop have, the indoctrination of children. Only thing I have is they gonna like grandfather the people that's like already hit up that have to kind of like take like recovery medicine for that stuff. What you you mean? know, like some people like I'm not the hormones, but like don't they have to take other medicine to like they take care of like cutting up their body and stuff? Like that's unnatural. You know what I, I'm I saying? Think, I think they are on, on like puberty blockers and. And, and there, uh, women women who turn to men take testosterone, and men that turn to women take estrogen. Like, is so, they gonna have care for the? So you're the, saying the, like, like when someone's in the process like uh, right now? Like yeah, like how they gonna treat it for like the reverse and all the other stuff after? That's the you you're know. You talking about like as, if they're going through the process right now, when he gets and, to like the house, that process is gonna go for somebody that's going through it. Yeah, and if they have to stop it or like yeah, how they supposed I, I'm to treat I'm assuming that. that they'll just go to like a medical professional and they'll would figure be, that situation out. Would it be under Medicaid or it'll just be over with? Good question. I, that's what I'm just asking. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure that your insurance will have to take care of that, bro. I mean, who knows? That, that'll be a deeper situation, but uh, I definitely like the way that sounds. No, I ain't saying nothing. No, I know. Either. No, I know. No, that's I'm a good, that's saying, a legit I, I, question, I, I, though. Like, like, I was thinking they, that. Is they over with? Or like, like, I know it's probably like, can they still get some care? They probably will. I don't think they'll try to. They have grandfather laws. Actually, probably. bro, did. Because it's only for kids. It's not about the, the adults. So some of the adults are probably going to be continued to be able to do what they're doing. But like the kids, what would happen in that situation? You know, you know? when people were saying that it's a, a mental like epidemic in this country, the fact that people committed... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, committed suicide after Donald Trump won, that shows a lot. That's yeah, that's absurd. I've, I've just been seeing uh, people post a number of that. I've seen a different number today as well. It's you, pretty crazy. Y'all think somebody pushing problems? Propaganda. This actually was going on, though. What you, what you mean? Like, you think somebody actually just pushing propaganda and um, just saying, "I don't know, that, that just happening," or that's like a or mental? No, it's a, it's a little. Oh, you saying? Oh, that oh, people the, actually the like killing oh, themselves. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Who, who reported that? Uh, I've seen it on X. I've seen uh, from multiple different sources. Yeah, I have seen it too. That's I just what I was been like. seeing multiple people. Real? I don't know if it is that's real. That's crazy because that's sad because it's like you already lived four years under this man. So somebody like bro, they the media. The media, the media bad, has bro. tricked them. It's 
brainwashed him. But it just shows That's that, it, like, bro. also what he's saying, like, if people in the, in these, like, fields are telling these kids that maybe you're trapped in the wrong body. You're, they need to be prosecuted for that. Yeah, They're that's... promoting deeper into, like, their mental illness, I guess. Like, they're they're pushing them deeper into that situation. So they're, hurt, hurt, like, basically hurting the country and hurting. They're, they're, they're making the, the health epidemic even larger by that. So I understand why that needs to happen. That's one of the main issues that need to happen. Because Vivek kept saying that, hey, that's what we're dealing with right now. That was one of his main points. We're dealing with a mental health epidemic in this country. It's not even just that. I think depression went up and suicide and men and that and everything. It was a lot. But you know. Yeah, that had to stop. We're gonna try to find a way to just make America great again. Y'all let me know. Out of all these clips that come from Trump when and from now until when he's in office, which one of them sound like Hitler? Well, Here's my plan to dismantle the deep state and reclaim our democracy from Washington corruption once and for all, and corruption it is. First, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the president's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats, and I will wield that power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all of the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus and there are plenty of them. The departments and agencies that have been weaponized will be completely overhauled so that faceless bureaucrats will never again be able to target and persecute conservatives, Christians, or the left's political enemies, which they're doing now at a level that nobody can believe even possible. Wow. Third, we will totally reform FISA courts, which are so corrupt that the judges seemingly do not care when they are lied to in warrant applications. So many judges have seen so many applications that they know were wrong, or at least they must have known. They do nothing about it. They're lied to. Fourth, to expose the hoaxes and abuses of power that have been tearing our country apart, we will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. And there are plenty of them. Wow. Fifth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives and to subvert our government and our democracy. When possible, we will press criminal charges. Sixth, we will make every Inspector General's office independent and physically separated from the departments they oversee so they do not become the protectors of the deep state. Seventh, I will ask Congress to establish an independent auditing system to continually monitor our intelligence agencies to ensure they are not spying on our citizens or running disinformation campaigns against the American people, or that they are not spying on someone's campaign like they spied on my campaign. This sound like Eighth, we will continue the effort launched by the Trump administration to move parts of the sprawling federal bureaucracy to new locations outside the Washington swamp. Mm. Just as I moved the Bureau of Land Management to Colorado, as many as 100,000 government positions could be moved out, and I mean immediately, of Washington to places filled with patriots who love America. And they really do love America. Ninth, I will work to ban federal bureaucrats from taking jobs at the companies they deal with and that they regulate. So they deal with these companies and they regulate these companies and then they want to take jobs from these companies. Doesn't work that way. Such a public display cannot go on and it's taking place all the time like with Big Pharma. Finally, I will push a constitutional amendment to impose term limits on members of Congress this is how I will shatter the deep state and restore government that is controlled by the people and for the people. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. Damn. That, wow. Sounds, that sounds like a good plan. I definitely I definitely am excited for the future under Trump, but that's uh So do that sound like that's his first course of action? That was a great video. Hitler that was. activity, y'all that any no. I'm, I'm does actually Does it sound like that. a guy that's only looking out for himself? Does this sound like a guy that is only interested in furthering himself? Does this sound presidential? 
Definitely. More, this is, this, I, nah, I ain't gonna say I was finna get emotional. It just, it just felt like we was in this, we was on this ride for a long time. We, we were. doing this for months. It's, it's awesome to see it have finally come to fruition. Like, this shit is crazy, like, Ever since man. Trump's been elected the past few days, I've been very excited to see, like, you, you I, seem I've been like, excited to see, like, what comes every day. You know like, what's crazy? Why everybody been tightened up lately? Like, I'm just seeing everybody just getting in line. Now the uh, judge agrees with the Republicans to cut the you know, immigrant funding. Yeah. China China, China, stock, stock market, stock market going uh, every, up. Every, every, hey man, it's been it's been <laughs> it's man hasn't even stepped in office and, and things are already falling. Listen, hold on, now. Trump back in there. We got you know things are already falling. These place. ain't the YMCA kids no more. Nah, facts. it's real business handling, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh exciting. man, this shit's funny, man. All the cases are being thrown out, man. Wow, wow. let's see this, this man. Crazy. This is hilarious. Uh, Fanny Willis, that seems to be. <laughs> One of the one of the last prosecutions against Donald Trump that hasn't been completely thrown in the garbage just yet. Maybe a message to Fannie Willis. Yeah, big Fannie, another one. Where where do they find these people? It's just like it, at Weight Watchers. Where do they the, uh, where do they find these these slobs to be prosecutors against Trump? I would say to to big Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. Big Fannie uh, Willis. It's very clear that the Georgia Court of Appeals is going to disqualify their entire office because big Fannie hired her dumb. <laughs> unqualified boyfriend, Nathan Wade, paid him $700,000, $250 an hour. And then Big Fanny took illegal kickbacks from Nathan Wade in the form of lavish trips around the world. Napa, the Caribbean, Belize. I'm a gray goose girl. I mean, where do they find these dumb flops, right? <laughs> That's great. And then she got up and lied about it in court, right? So she's going wow. to get disqualified from this case. This case will go to another a uh, district attorney in Georgia, and no one in their right mind would bring this case again because it's not a crime to object to a presidential election. It's allowed by the Electoral Count Act of 1887. It's allowed by the First Amendment. Again, I want to say to these Democrat prosecutors and these Democrat hellholes, we're not messing around this time, right? So uh, proceed accordingly. Yeah, I don't know how they keep their law licenses after this. I just don't. I, I don't know how they stay within the bar. Um, after what they've done. And, yeah. and when the people know the truth, when people actually understand the truth, and now that we control the media ecosystem, now that more people have like tuned out and that's it's broken and it's dead and it's, it's gone, right? This election proved it once and for all. Now we can tell the truth. We can tell the true story. Cash Patel was on here talking about this just a second ago. Like now is time for truth and reconciliation for the American people to actually understand how their government operates. Wow, man. And they tried to get him, man. man that that's why, bro, we got to be real, bro. Hey, he, he was mad. Cat oh, yeah, no, it's a work one. Bro. Oh, yeah, it's, 2024 oh, it's going to bring bad. hell. Oh, that wasn't even the so, one I thought so I clicked. It's going to be a year of truth is what he said. The one about Letitia? Oh, 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 oh hear this. Uh, let me just say this to Big Tish James, the New York Attorney General. <laughs> big Tish, big I, I family. I dare you. I dare you to try to continue your lawfare against President Trump and his second term. Because listen here, sweetheart, we're not messing around this time, and we will put your fat ass in prison Damn. for conspiracy against rights. And I Damn. promise you that. So think long and hard before you want to violate President Trump's constitutional rights or any other <laughs> American's constitutional <laughs> rights. We, uh, it's not going to happen again. That oh, is crazy. I like that guy. That's I, why they say he's a threat to democracy I, I, because I, they finna I, get on y'all ass. I'm not going to lie. Story. That lawyer was pissed. He said they're a Weight Watcher. He said Big Fanny, Big Tish. Oh, that said, was I'm going to put your fat wow. ass in jail. This no, is this America. Is, this is a landslide. Look at Oklahoma. Not a single blue county. They don't call it the great state for nothing. Look at Tennessee. Only thing is Nashville and Memphis. That's hey, all I see. We ain't got a lick of blue. I knew when I was a child, there's a reason why I love the color red. I said, oh, this is just my favorite color. Because it's in me. A the lot, red dirt state, a Oklahoma. Lot of, a lot of red in California, man. That shit is crazy. Man. Yeah, no. The, the, weird, the, the bulk of the votes come from the LA Metro. That's the biggest blue. Looks like the most indoctrination is going on in big cities, man. Urban areas. Well, duh. That, well, well, duh. Yeah. Well, that's just to be expected. That's a trend everywhere. And, and I remember well, I, my, friend, red, my friend that works in the Metro, uh, I mean, in the, in the uh, Mayor office in Oklahoma was saying Kamala Harris is going to turn OKC blue. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about That's that, insane, bud. Man. Yeah, man. It, we watched it all unfold, guys, and it's just exciting to see, man. Getting to, Actually, getting up every day watching this shit is 
It's exactly. Kind of funny. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I've been I've been in a great mood the past few days, guys. Like everything that we've been watching happen in our country is finally about to finally start getting addressed. Like now we can wake up and be excited about about solutions everything. and good things coming in our nation, prosperity. We're gonna have money in our pockets, and it's like the golden age is really coming of fruition. Yeah. And all the fear mongering and all the stuff they put out is false because some of these red states that have so much red and majority red voted on abortion and they passed abortion. So it looks like <laughs> women aren't losing their rights. <laughs> Man, look at that. Oh. Trump said himself, I'm not going to ban abortion. That was in October yeah, when he posted that, too. <laughs> the not seeing abortion stuff, it, it's, that's just long overdue. The last thing I'm going to say, bro, is we really got to sit here and think about that this man almost got assassinated. Twice. No, like, he, he, that, that's why, that's that's why. The first one was crazier, though, but the fact that he just he he's turned around. He's trying to figure around, out bro. who did he, it. He could have he been gone for real, for real. Yeah, he's But fin- he turned around and he's now he's not gone, man. He's finna figure out who did it. That's very crazy to me, man. They finna figure out who did that's it. That's very, very crazy to me, man, you know. And I don't like bringing, you know, it, it might actually be an anointed into this situation, guys, that one wanted to save America. God had to actually want to save America. Knowing that, in a speech, you're always forward, brother. You're probably forward 90% of the time. And that the fact right. that he turned around, I'm talking about at, 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 a, at a rate of how a bullet was coming, bro. He thought he had him and he turned his head, bro. That Man, shit's insane to this me, is, bro. This, is, the this shit is a legendary moment. That we just experienced. This guys. is a legendary uh, uh, timeline of events that we've this experienced, and I, I just, I just, I just want to hope for the safety of Trump because what he just said in that video was a bombshell. So we know they're going to come after oh. him to try to prevent this from happening. So I hope for the safety of our president. I hope for the prosperity of our nation, and I'm, I'm just very excited for the, the next few months, guys, because yeah. everything's about to start falling in line. Yeah, it's going to be a roller coaster, guys. Let us know what y'all think, guys. We go.